Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Do and Dominus117 here. Today we're going to be doing a video of reviewing one of my personal favorite Halo Mega Bloc sets. Um, the Halo Mega Bloc Serif from Halo Reach. So let's get right into it. Set used off of eBay, as I do with most of my Halo Mega Bloc sets. So it only came with one figure, but that figure is a really cool one. The um, Halo Mega Bloc um, Golden Elite Ultra. As far as I know, the Elite Ultras were only in Halo Reach, and they were never gold in the games, I think. Um, but yeah, I really like this figure. Um, let's move on to the weapons. The first weapon that came in the set was a dark blue energy sword. Um, it's just an normal energy sword although i really like the energy sword weapon from halo so i think it's a really cool weapon come on focus there we go the second weapon that came in this set was the um needler i like this needler um looks a little bit weird not that close to the needler in game but I th think it's the best that they could do at this small a scale. It's just a plain purple color. Maybe it would have been nice to maybe have some paint, pink paint on the part where the needles were supposed to be. But other than that, I think it's a pretty solid weapon. And uh, yeah, I like it. The third and final weapon from this set is um, the Covenant plasma pistol this plasma pistol from mega blocks looks a little weird it's a little bit like bigger than the new ones and the handles are really long I don't really like it as much as the new ones but it's a still a pretty solid weapon not much else to say about it really just in a plain purple color um but yeah, now let's move on to the actual vehicle. This is just a quick view of how it stacks up against other Covenant vehicles from Halo Reach um, in size. It is one of the biggest Halo Mega Bloks videos I, I mean, not videos, vehicles I own. In fact, I think it is the largest. Oh, um, by the way, just really wanted to, really quickly wanted to say these stands on the bottom of the Seraph do not come with this set. Neither do these three other vehicles. But I just wanted to show a really quick comparison of those vehicles. And now onto the rest of the review. This vehicle is very, very big. Um, so it, storing it is a bit of a problem, but not that much. I do really like this um, maroon color right here. And the rest of it, the purples and grays. Mine is a bit dusty because, um, again, as I said, I got it used from eBay and I haven't had the time to like take it apart, clean off every single piece, then put it back together. There's this right here, there's um, some stickers you can see right there from the front. And they're just used for like turrets on the front of it, I think. Um, here's this very big canopy piece that you can just open up and fold back. Uh oh, it just fell off of its stand that I made for it. It'll hold one um, figure that you put in there, as long as it's not like, um, say, a brute with a jet pack or something like that. It's got these little grips right here. Let me sure it shines in light. There's little grips right there for your figure to hold on to and it's got these little pieces as a little bit of decoration it's just barely enough space for one figure to fit in when you're done you just fold the cockpit and you're ready to fly from the back here you can see that it's got this big circular blue transparent blue piece um, which is supposed to be the engine that powers this thing it's got a lot of smooth pieces on the top, just giving it a really sleek look, I think. This set 
just like some of the older Mega Bloks sets, do does have stickers. Um, I'm not really a big fan of stickers, and they were starting to peel away anyways, so I just took the stickers off, and I don't know, I think it looks a little bit better without the extra stickers. Um, so, um, on the bottom of this ship, you can see it's got more of those smooth pieces, giving it just a really sleek look. I really like how this looks, especially the color scheme on it. But um, anyway, that's going to do it for this review. If you've made it this far into the video, I just want to say thanks for watching to the end. Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider um, subscribing and don't forget to like this video. More reviews like this will um, keep on coming, so subscribe and turn notifications on if you don't want to miss those. But anyways, catch you in the next one.